Thanks for joining the Focus Hunting Podcast. For us, hunting in the outdoors isn't just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Join us as we cover all things hunting, fishing, and the outdoors in Western Canada. Right on, man. Thanks for hopping on the show. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for having me. I I really appreciate it. It's fun to fun to get to meet people and I'm like, I'll meet I'll meet you in person at some point here. I'm just, I'm certain in the future. So yeah, yeah, no doubt for sure. So like we were talking back and forth previously, what we're doing is we're we're doing this kind of February mini series, and we've got ones on calling elk, ones on finding elk. Now, another huge aspect of elk hunting, and just, I mean, hunting in general, that a lot of people mm-hmm. take for granted, and a lot of people wait maybe till it's a little too late, is fitness, training, all that stuff. Now, I know so many guys that they got an elk hunt plan for September 1st, August 15th comes around. They're like, okay, that's it. I got to get in shape for my elk hunt. And you know, they either, they don't get, obviously that's not enough time, but a lot of them sometimes suffer injuries. Mm -hmm. Um, They, you know, sometimes bite off more than they can chew in their scouting. They think, oh, you know, I'm going to go here. I've heard there's lots of elk here. This looks really elky. This is the place I want to go to. And then obviously when you're looking at something from a topo map or Google earth, when you actually go to put your boots on the ground, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you know, I might not be physically fit enough to, you know, set off in an adventure here for five to seven days. And then not only that, if you're successful and you kill an elk, you know, or a mule deer or whatever, right? Now yeah. we're talking, this yep. is a whole new animal. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get people involved and get them getting after it now in february so they're ready for september 1st not waiting so i mean we're you know i train year round as my listeners know i'm pretty pretty hardcore when it comes to training some say um you don't have to do that but i mean i think if you slowly chip away at these things now you know if you yeah. spend three to five days a week chipping away with it half an hour here an hour here you're gonna build up you're gonna you're gonna start finding over time over a six month period, you're going to be exactly where you need to be come September Mm -hmm. 1st. Mm -hmm. So let's start with maybe if you can just tell the listeners for listeners who don't know a little bit about yourself and Mountain Tough. Yeah, um, I'm Weston Paul. I'm the director of business development at Mountain Tough Fitness Lab. Mountain Tough Fitness Lab. We are a fitness app, actually. And so our roots are where we got our start, what we're ingrained in, what we're passionate about is backcountry hunting, um, backcountry adventures, honestly, like when it comes down to it. So for us, we understood quite a long time ago, it started in 2016, that the backcountry hunter wasn't preparing themselves adequately for what would occur in the field. And so that's what we're talking about here is like, start now, like starting, you know, two months before or a month before or two weeks before is too late. What it really takes is the intentionality of think about like, I'm like, you all know hockey, you know how much training goes into hockey, right? Like that level of training should go into your backcountry hunt so that you can go and have the best experience possible because you put so much time and energy and money into it. It's like, gosh, it'd be a shame if you wasted that, right? Um, we don't want you to waste it at all. So fitness is what we're passionate about. So like, that's why we launched the fitness app. That's why we launched the programs that are contained within the fitness app to get people on a path and start them training early and often so that they have the confidence going into the season that yes, they are going to shoot something. Yes, they are going to pack it out. And to top it off, should they need to do a pack out the next day, they say yes to that and they go do it again because they're not so devastated that they they can't walk, you know? Um, that's like that's like the pinnacle. I always say that to people. I was like, because not a lot of people are in that instance where they've packed an elk out and then they get a call from a buddy the next day. And you have the question in your mind, like, should I do it? Can I do it? Your answer should be yes. You should be so prepared to, mm-hmm. to go your body should recover in enough time, like overnight, so that you can go and do that again and help your buddy out and make that such an awesome experience for them. So that's what we're passionate about. That's why with the Mountain Tough Fitness app, 
we're able to offer those programs and put people into the training blocks that they need uh, so that they can train. Like literally, if you're a backcountry hunter, think of yourself as a true professional athlete and train year round. So blocks of training go into each season, their seasonality and everything as there should be. Uh, one of my buddies a long time ago joked, he's like, yeah, bears, you know, they they hibernate in the winter, right? And I was like, us as humans, we have a tendency to hibernate or put on a little extra weight in the winter. And I'm like, the one thing you know about a bear is that they're going to go and <laughs> they're going to, they're going to exert some effort when they crawl out of hibernation as we, and we as humans tend not to exert as much effort when we come out of hibernation. So yeah, yeah. man, so unfortunately, some of us, some humans, their hibernation period is a little longer than than the bears is so yes uh, yeah <laughs> well we're gonna fix that we're gonna get people sign up for this app and I, and you mentioned time there and that's the biggest thing is like time equals money time yeah. equals you know for most of us i mean i i myself i hunt a lot as my listeners know but for you know the average guy he's gonna maybe spend maybe get 10 days of hunting in a year yep so now if you're spending that 10, 10 days of your vacation time, that's time away from work. That's money that you're not bringing in. That's time away from your family, which is even more valuable than money. So if you're not prepared for these 10 days, then, you know, it's just such a waste. It's such a waste, mm -hmm. especially when you have 355 days a year to prepare for it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So let's get into the app a little bit. First of all, where can we find the app? Yeah. So mountaintough.com so m-t-n-t-o-u-g-h.com is where you can find us um our app and all the information about it are located there um you can find us in the app store and all of that as well but through our website is the best place to get an idea of what the app is and what it entails um and kind of look through and yeah. start understanding the process that goes into even like thinking about training specifically for it an event such as a 10 day hunt. So that's where we'll get you all the information and you can take a look at it and see, I'm like, we have, we have so many people that have started this process and they've gone through it and, and I'm like, we're venturing on 24,000 subscribers in the app. So it's an amazing community, um, of people that are out there training day in and day out. And not all of them are looking forward to hunts, but a bulk of them are um, too. So we still get aspir just mountain aspirational athletes too. It's like, oh, this has been great for my for my mountain biking, and this has been great for my skiing or my backpack trip. Um, but by and large, we are backcountry hunters. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So I got into this app, and um, you know, I have a very it's it's a fairly strict workout routine. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, with my running coach and then, you know, my physical, you know, my weightlifting coach and all that stuff, the guys I work with doing that. It's funny, like when you first go, like when I first went to my running coach and I said, man, I need, you know, last year I was training for a 100 and yep. I suffered an injury, a hip injury. And, you know, that was it blew it out. And, you know, I, I, unfortunately I was still able to hunt, but, but, you know, when I went to him this year and said, Hey, um, I, I, I need to hire you because my running, you know, I, I just, I'm not, I'm obviously doing something wrong. If I'm getting injured, I'm, I'm training over training. I'm not, yep. you know, focusing on my rest days. I'm just not doing it right. My process is all wrong. So I need your help. And he's like, okay, what's your ultimate goal? And I said, well, I'm a bow hunter. And there was just like a blank, like he's waiting for me to add to it. Like, and I was like, and he's like, okay. And he's like, so what are you training for? I'm just, no, I'm, I'm training for hunting. And he's like, yep. I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, he was just like, look, blank face me. And he's like, he could, he didn't comprehend. He's like, well, you know, don't you just drive around in a truck and like see their intruder? So now that he knows me, obviously yep. he's approaching it a little different, but like you said, you're right. Like we need to look at backcountry hunting as an athlete and as, as athletes do. And as such, we should be training as athletes. We should be focusing on our rehab as athletes mm -hmm. do something I strongly need to work on. Yes. Um, you know, um, and, and I started going through this app and I found like, you know, like, like just so many great things and things that I really found, you know, like I said, I have a really strict workout routine, but still there is stuff in here that I'm going to use. Like you got stuff on nutrition, mental, spiritual health, which I love. I love diving into that. I love listening to podcasts on mental toughness, 
you know, all that stuff. I'm just a, I'm just a junkie when it comes to that. And like group workouts are really great because, you know, for me, working out with my family is very important. I want to get my kids involved in physical fitness at a young age. So when they're my age, they're able to do the things that I'm still doing at 45, Mm -hmm. that guys that are 25, you know, some of them who don't keep up with this aren't able to keep up with me. So it's, you know, it's got something for everyone, which I really like. Um, So let's, let's, Walk us through the app a little bit now that, you know, people, you've gone and you signed up, you've used the focus promo code, which I'll add in the notes of the show. Yeah. And let's just walk through this and we'll kind of go over some of the stuff that people can expect to look at once they get into it. For sure. For sure. So yeah, going from the website and then you can start a trial in the app. Um, We always have a standard 14 day free trial. So that comes with with everybody across the board. Like there's no risk involved in it, but uh, for focus hunting podcast listeners, FHP 30 is the code to add an additional 30 days onto that. So you've got a month and a half of like literally free training. We tell people that are the laggards, the ones who are like right before the, the, like a month out from the hunt, they're like, just grab the app and do it, like do it for these next, you know, um, 30 days and you'll have, you'll have a better experience, but, um, no, we're, we're thrilled to offer that and just let people check it out as you've done and taking a look like, where we fit into your routine um, right now. If you don't have a routine, we're just trying to meet you where you're at. So we want to put a plan in people's hands. Not everybody has the ability to hire a coach or has those goals of running a hundred or like doing any of that stuff too. Um, So for our subscriber and somebody that's new coming in here, we want to usher you in we have a full on-ramp program. And so that ranges from body weight to minimal gear, um, just like low impact, get yourself moving, gain some confidence, gain some mobility back. And then we'll transition from there into a foundation program. Um, so we're taking you on this journey because a lot of people just need a place to start. We just need to know where to start. So that's what we're, we're really big on. Yes, the badass backcountry bow hunter who does all this stuff. Like that's a very small, small number. We want you to get to that point and we will take you on that journey for sure. So, so starting with on-ramp going through foundation and just knowing that some people just need body weight. Some people have minimal gear, don't want to buy a whole bunch. Some people have access to a gym, whether you're going to a gym, you have a work gym or maybe you've built out a home gym too. So we've got programs for all of those disciplines, so to speak. Um, The big thing for us is that convenience and then the coaching. So a lot of our programs that you'll see, especially the beginner programs, there's going to be a coach there. You press play, you follow along, you get the cues, you get the good form um, so that you're getting that, those basics down. Um, And then we'll move into the bigger programs that we have are those training blocks. And those ones, we just know that people, they don't need the coach there all the time for them anymore. They want the plan. They want it outlined and they want to, they want to go. So you'll see that in our backcountry hunter series program. So if people start and they've gone through on-ramp and they've gone through foundation, they'll oftentimes want to get into the backcountry hunter program. And where we're at right now is postseason strength. So that's the training block that people are in in the backcountry hunter series right now. And those are just outlined for you. You go and do the workout at, on your own, at your own pace. And what we're doing is we're packing on the strength that you've lost over the course of the hunting season. And maybe we, we all went through the holidays We packed on a little bit of that hibernation weight. So we needed to get rid of some of the fat too. But building muscle is the best way to do that as well. So so those are the blocks that we're going to ultimately probably get you into. Uh, We still...